what's happening guys, it's Charity Effects here, aka Juice Productions, and I'm just doing a little tutorial video for you new users of PV. Now, if you are new to Project Blackout, of course the um, USA slash Euro Europe Project Blackout, all Project Blackouts might be the same, but this is specifically the Europe uh, USA one. Once you get PB, you'll be brought to this. Once you find out how to get, hold on, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go to a server. Okay, basically, when you launch PB, it'll look something like this. After you log on, it'll look something like this. You always go to Combo Server One. Okay, Combo Server One is normal. Now, this novice server. This is if you just made a new account. This is where you go to rank your player up, so you are good enough to come into the open servers. Nova servers are basically from rank one up to a certain rank. After you get to, after you get past a certain rank, you're forced to go in here. But anyway, let's go jump into an open server because I can't go into the Nova servers. You're brought to this interface here. Now, at first glance, everything look like looks like it's all over the fucking place. Well, I I, I would admit it pretty fucking is, but I suppose it's pretty normal. All right, on the right hand side, you've got the scroll, so you can scroll through the kind of games. You want, you might want to go to Crackdown, Deathmatch, this is the game mode here, Deathmatch, Defense, you can pretty much read that. Um, but yeah, you're thinking, you're, but yeah, the, at the start, it's really pretty fucking confusing. Let's say you go into a game, alright, and you're like, okay, I'm in, but no, I, I, I don't want to be in this game. How do I leave? You're like, what the fuck? Up here, right, this button here, beside the mail thing, go back. That's how you do it. All right, that's how you get out of things. Here, the we gear is the options. Now, this is the same thing as the old thing. This is pretty basic here. If you have played the pretty much basic, you can click in a room. Once you click on a room, it tells you what the stats are, where it is, what mode it is, how many rounds, who the room host is, what round they're at, if it's a join lock, if there are any weapons bans, if there's observer and team balance. That's a good way if you want to know. Same thing here. If it's a, if it's a death match, it'll tell you how long the game's been going, uh, who the host is, how, how, what's the time limit and the kill limit, all that good stuff. You know, you can, you can double click it. Go brings you right into the game or you can um, click it and hit enter that's pretty much it you can create a room as well by hitting the create room now this shit comes up here it's pretty confusing to start but it's okay now here you've got your different game modes game modes are aight they're aight um, basically when you death match you, you pick a map you use a scroll to pick a nice map that you like or you can hit random which picks a map at random when you start the game on the right hand side you've got objectives how many kills the game should have so you can have 60 you could you can you can make the game of 60 kills or up to 160 kills time limit at mat you can make a match go on for a full on half an hour which is pretty long match never usually lasts half an hour unless it's a 1v1 um you can have a player limit, you can have a 1v1, 2v2, all that good stuff, max is 8. Join lock means when the game starts, no one can join. So if you have that checked, once the game starts, no one else can join. Team balance, you never really usually touch this, you just leave it at count. Weapon restrictions are the weapons that people are allowed to use in the game. So for example, if I want a pistol only, I remove primaries. That makes a pistol only secondary. If I want a knife only, I remove primary and secondary, and I have melee. And that's it. Now, you can have a custom game mode instead of deathmatch. So maybe you want to make a sniper only. You come to the left, bottom left here, hit this, and you've got deathmatch shotguns, bomb shotguns, and you've got snipers. Pick a room. Pretty, pretty basic. Pick kills, time limit, 8v8, and uh, here's the thing. Wait, uh, just a little tip for you. When you're doing a sniper, it is highly suggested you do not check secondary throwing because it's pretty noob to have secondaries and throwings, and it's just oh, it's crazy. You can edit the room title as well. Just click up here, and we'll call it. That's pretty good right there, bro. But that's the basics on how to create a room. Now, here is the main fucking thing here. When you want to go to the shop, you click the shop, and you see yeah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I want. If you, no, this is for points. If you want to go and buy this for points, you hit buy, and you can have it for one day, ninety days, three fifty days, five eighty. So what? The, what? One day, three days, uh, thirty days, ninety days, and they all vary on different points. So you just click which one you want, and you hit buy. The credits. It's the pretty much the same thing. And for everyone, buy. You just hit the buy button. You get it for a hundred times. It does the whole some math thing here. All that. 
and all that good stuff. Uh, now here's my info. Over here you've got basic info, which is your points, credits, headshots, key ratio, battle records, and your clan, and your XP. But when you hit this, it gets a bit confusing. These are missions cards, which you can do. You can you can purchase these mission cards, and basically they give you a mission to do um, to get to earn some extra XP and some extra credits, mainly XP. No, you can buy that. You can look. You can check the stats of it, whatever you want. You can check the card info, what it's about, how much XP you earn, and all this. Then you hit title. Now, if you don't, the old the old title tree was much better in my opinion. The old title tree was really really better, but this I thought was pretty confusing. It's pretty much the basically the same thing except the trees on sideways. Now you can equip what what things you want and what. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Oh shit! I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna get rid of this. Fuck, fuck you. I'm gonna equip this because I'm cool. Alright. But that's basically the tiles thing. You can trees, you purchase, and whatnot. You edit and oh, all that. Now, I found that pretty confusing the first day. Now, how you get out of it, you just hit this and bang. You're back in. So, that's pretty much it. The clown thing is okay. The, the info, the records, the clan thing, and the XP of the clan, and who owns the clan, and some rankings and stuff. Clan members, check your clan members, clan list, check all the clans in the game. Management, you can only go in here if you are commander or staff. If you own it, then you can check that out. Now, Outpost is something new. I don't want to go into depth with Outpost because I'm not that familiar with it, but I might have a tutorial. I might. But anyway, guys, that was the basics of Project Blackout. If you are new to the game, I wish you all the best in the game. Learn some more about it. I guarantee you'll have some... You have some lux and lols. <laughs> How about that? You have some lux and lols. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. It always helps. Show some support. You can also add me on Skype if you want. Charity FX. You can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, Charity FX again. Pretty basic. Um, and all that good stuff. Alright. Peace.